and then we'll hand over to Q&A. But just before I start, I wanted to let you know a few things. Um, a very nice man from the, I suppose, Swedish Academy or, or whatever it is, um, called up and said we decided to award you this prize and was very gracious and so on and um, said enough things to make, make me believe that he was in fact the right person because you can always have people pulling your leg, <laughs> ringing you up and saying, did you know you got the Nobel Prize when you actually haven't? So you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, it, it was, um, I was at a school where you did no science till the age of 15, and then I did one terms of science, um, and the schoolmaster wrote this report, details of which I can't exactly remember, but the main trust, uh, the main gist of it was that he had heard that Gurdon was interested in doing science, um, and that this was a completely ridiculous idea, because there was no hope whatever uh, of my doing science, and any time spent on it, um, would be a total waste of time, both on my part and the part of the person having to teach him. So that terminated my, completely terminated my science at school. Well, the, the institute that I work in, welcome, CRUK Institute, very kindly is having some drinks at six o'clock. And um, so I w would plan to attend those drinks and benefit from <laughs> a drink. And, of course, thanking the people who've been good enough to have me still working uh, with them in this institute. That, that's uh, a form of celebration. Have you been able to speak to uh, Professor Yamanaka since the announcement this morning, and do you plan to? Um, so? In Tal Tech, so my supervisor very kindly said he'd take care of the frogs while I was away. Just down to your right. 